Howdy! Welcome to another episode on the Majestic Bean channel. Today we have our new grinder here, the Barazza Sete 270. What I'm gonna do is give you my couple of cents on it. We'll do a little overview of the grinder and first impressions and then at the end, we're gonna make a delicious espresso as well because I have some special coffee beans over there. Let's begin. The Sete 270 costs $500 Australian dollars and I reckon it's pretty good value for money. It's a very compact grinder and it features a very nice, precise burr set. It doesn't have flat burrs, but it has conical burrs made in Liechtenstein, I think, by a company called Etzinger. Apparently they're pretty famous for precise engineering coffee burrs and shit, so that's pretty good. It's a bit loud and this grinder features three different timed settings. That means that you can set each of these three settings for a certain period of time that the grinder will grind coffee for and you can choose between 0 0.01 seconds up until I don't know 30 seconds or even more so that's pretty good as well if you are single dosing like I am if you're not then you just put your beans in the hopper put the catch bin in press play and off you go this grinder is also pretty nice because it has a porter filter holder which means that if you are grinding for espresso you just switch this little thingy out so this grinder is good for both espresso and filter brewing which is why we have a little little catcher bin but also a porter filter hanger like this we can just fit this little catcher bin for our filter brewing needs for example or if we're brewing espresso and we want to be a bit fancy and professional we just take this little thingy out and push the forks in so they automatically close and become much closer to each other which means that I can put my porter filter just like this that looks like a little cafe grinder in my opinion it's very cool I won't be using it like that because if you want to be precise with your coffee and you want to put your porter filter in like this you will need a big precise scale where you will tear your porter filter on and I don't have a big precise scale to use so that's why I still prefer to grind and doze my beans with the catcher bin and then weigh the difference between the catcher bin and the ground bins instead that way I'm more precise than if I was tearing this on just some ordinary kitchen scale this grinder is good, as I said, for both espresso and filter, which means it covers all the ranges of brewing methods. And that's excellent to have in one grinder, because many times, for example, with the previous grinder I had, the Fiorenzato, which is basically a cafe commercial grinder, it was very difficult to switch between different sizes of ground coffee which means I had difficulties switching from brewing espresso to making an Aeropress or a V60 because that grinder is not really designed to go between different settings easily. Well, this one is. So all I need to do is rotate this little bottom burr over here setting and we go from very coarse to espresso in literally a couple of seconds. On this grinder, we have two types of settings for grinding. We have 30 macro settings, which means more broad ranged settings. 
And then we have seven micro settings that are there to fine tune the grinds and are especially helpful when you're making espresso. For example, I'm getting an extraction time of 27 seconds, but I'm saying, all right, I wanna try how this coffee tastes if I'm extracting it for 29 seconds. It would be very difficult to get a difference of two seconds in extraction time on any other type of grinder. But on this one, I would just probably make a little micro adjustment on this smaller ring over here. And that would enable me to make that two second difference in extraction time. For today, we're just gonna brew espresso because that's how I feel like. So we have this little fork on the inside, out of the way, we have our catcher bin over here. All I need to do is press play to turn it on. And then this little light over here indicates which dose I'm on in seconds. So the first dose is three seconds because I set it like that for just purging beans when I put them through for sing single dosing. The second one is my most commonly used setting which I use for my typical 19 gram dose for espresso. And the third one is a 20 second dose, which I most of the time use for a bigger batch AeroPress. So around 25 to 30 grams of coffee. It's very easy to switch between the three settings and it's very easy to adjust them as well. All you need to do is press the dose you wanna adjust. And then we have these two little up and down buttons. So if I wanted to increase this dose from three to four seconds, for example, all I need to do is just hold the up button until I reach four. And then long press the dose that I'm changing. The screen will then blink and now we have the first dose changed from three to four seconds. I could also use a manual mode where the grinder will grind until I stop it. All I need to do is just press and hold the play button and the grinder will grind. If I want to get out of the manual mode, I press the stop button and we're back in auto mode. So that's the user interface is pretty easy to figure out. And this grinder overall is pretty easy to use. So far, I'm very happy with it. It produces very fluffy grounds with minimal grounds retention. This grinder still has some retention. And I've seen that it's about half a gram, 0.6 of a gram sometimes, which is not terrible to be honest, especially because I don't need to, to add those, that little silicone cup that I had on the previous guy that were around knocking and it's all messy and it just doesn't look good. Also, the reason why this grinder has such low grounds retention is because as you can see, it's a straight through grinding system where gravity does its thing. Beans go in and beans come out in a vertical line, which is ideal, but also because Baratza have developed this little suction thing that I don't quite understand how it works, but I know what it does. When the burrs are spinning and coffee is going through them, that thing that Baratza have added to the burrs actually enables for the grinder to suck out as much of the coffee grounds from the inside as possible, leaving minimal retention. As you can see, I don't, I don't understand how it works, but the important part is it works. All right, so, I think it's time to make a coffee. What I'm gonna use today is a special blend from 
Veneziano Coffee, which is a Melbourne-based coffee roaster. And they have this guy called Pete Licata working for them. And this guy apparently was the 2013 World Barista Champion. So what he did, he developed this limited edition coffee blend. And the best part is it consists of three different naturally processed coffees. And as you know, because I've mentioned it 50 times before, I love naturally processed coffees. So I had a coffee with this blend this morning and it is delicious, both as black and with milk. So what I'm gonna do today is just a double espresso and at the same time, I'm gonna show you how the grinder works. You will get a chance to see how fluffy the, grounds are, uh, the coffee grounds are and you will also get to see how much retention we're gonna have. The first thing I do is purge the grinder from the old coffee beans that I've used because after I use this, uh, this coffee in the morning, I put through other beans. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly add a couple of beans inside the hopper and just purge which means replace any coffee grounds stuck inside the burr set with the beans that I'm gonna use now. So I'm gonna use my purge setting over here, but first I'm gonna decrease it back to three. Alrighty, so we have the beans in, press play and away we go. Easy, we're gonna throw this away. And what I'm going to do is measure out 19 grams of coffee. The good thing about the ketchup in is you can also use it as a dosing cup. I put 19.2 grams of coffee. So we're going to see how much we're going to get out. At the moment, this morning I figured out that when I was dialing in this coffee, my espresso range is somewhere around six, seven, and eight. I'm using seven, which is the macro adjustment, and A, which is the micro adjustment. And away we go. Okay, so now I got exactly the same amount of coffee that I put in, which is 19.5. I actually got more than I put in, 0.2 of a gram more, just because probably I had some coffee inside from before when I purged with some of the beans previously. So this is not a zero retention grinder, but it has very low retention. And I think that's acceptable because you're paying 500 bucks. Find me another grinder that you can do single, single dosing with such low retention, very fluffy grounds for $500, and I'll go out and buy it. As you can see, there are zero clumps in the coffee shoe. That's literally ideal because you don't need to fluff up the grounds and all that bullshit like we used to do. We just put the funnel on and we are off to the races. Easy. I also forgot to mention this grinder is very good with static electricity. And if you saw, I didn't use water to spray on the beans because you don't really need to. On other grinders, you'll get the coffee grounds just flying all over the place and getting stuck on metal parts, but on this one, they, but as I have figured shit out on this one, I, and I think it's a five-year-old design, so that means they've done a good job. Anyway, 19 grams in. The recipe that I used this morning was 19 in, 36 out, 
which is almost one to two of brewing ratio in at around 20 something seconds. We'll see how we go. So we have 19 grams in, 35.5 out in 27 seconds. That's good. I'll just tell you the origins of the coffee coffees used in this blend. We have an Indonesian, Ethiopian and Colombian coffee origins, all naturally processed, put together in a blend. Tasting notes, blueberry jam, pink lady apple, black cherry and baking spice. Sounds good to me. The good thing also about this grinder is with the micro settings, one movement, so changing from B to A, so from coarser to finer, results in around one to two seconds of extraction time difference when it comes to espresso. So you can really fine tune your coffee to taste the way you want it to taste, which is almost impossible on other grinders, even commercial grinders. So all in all, I'm very satisfied with this grinder so far, but you also need to keep in mind that I've had it only for four days, I think. So we will definitely do a longer, more in-depth review later down the track. But for now, my first impressions from my Baratza grinder are nine out of 10. And that little one thingy that's missing is just because it's a bit loud, but who gives a fuck, right? Let's try this coffee. This is the fucking shit. This is the good stuff. You don't make them try it. Maddie, you want to try as well? No, that's right. I thought you said this fucking is good. fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> I said this is the shit. Mm. If you understood this is shit, you're wrong. This is the fucking shit. This is good coffee. That's very bright. It's very nice. I like it. Delicious, aromatic, sweet. And believe me, it tastes even better with milk. So, if you're looking for a delicious, naturally processed espresso blend, give this blend a go. You can find it on Veneziano's website. I'm sure you'll figure it out. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. And if you have any opinions or any questions about this grinder, comment below and we can talk about it. So I'll see you around next time. Peace. Hey, hey, buckaroos. How'd you like that? No matter if you did or didn't, tell us what you think in the comments below. We love you either way. Check out the two suggested videos, subscribe to the channel, and while you're here, have a look at our social media accounts. We have some cool content over there as well. Alrighty, time to fuck out of here. Peace.